हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल तो आज हम जिस वीडियो रिएक्ट करने वाले हैं उस वीडियो के लिए मैं पहले से मैं आपको बोलना चाहता हूं यार कि यार ऑफेंड मत होना ये सिर्फ एक वीडियो है नॉलेज के लिए बनाई है एफडी फैक्ट्स चैनल ने बनाई है उसको सब्सक्राइब कर दें और हमें भी कर दें सब्सक्राइब तो इस वीडियो का टाइटल जो आप देख रहे होगा टाइटल में क्या है इंडिया वर्सिज पाकिस्तान विच वर्न इज बेटर और हम कोई पार्शलिटी कुछ नहीं करने वाले हम तो सिर्फ देखने वाले हैं आप बताएं हमें आप ही मत बताएं रहें तो बताइए मत बस देख लो एक तरह से वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं वन नहीं रुको वन वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड रुको वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन टू समझा बेटा समझा दिया बाद में फिर ठीक है इंडिया कैसे पता are two countries that aren't foreign to the large number of people who watch our videos. Both countries are rich with culture and have great pride unlike any other. Although stemming from the same origins, India and Pakistan are two separate nations with two completely Whoa. separate identities now. Thank you guys once again for joining me on another episode of FT Facts. I'm Leroy Kenton and <coughs> I'm going to be exploring Leroy. these two countries in a side by side comparison in this episode of which country is better. better. Now the question I got to throw out there is what country do you think is better, India or Pakistan? Pretty sweet forward. Let me know down below. <laughs> And don't yes. forget to leave a like on this video. Okay, so let me begin exploring better. these Twins two great countries. Let's look at the population first. So the population of Pakistan is 190 million, 304,221, and the population density sits at 256 okay. per square kilometer. India's population on the other hand is a lot larger. It's 1,344,238,140. and india of course is the second most populated country in the entire world china's population density is at 450 per square kilometer <laughs> now when it comes to land size the land size of india is 3.287 million square kilometers and that's about 1,269,219 square miles Pakistan's land size sits at 796,095 square kilometers, which is roughly 307,774 square miles. Now, इसके साथ 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 With okay. males at 67.3 years life and females at 69.8 years. The life expectancy in Pakistan is 67.7 years. Come males at 65.8 and females at 69.8. Now, in taking a look at the culture of these two countries, so secularism in India refers to the equal wow. treatment of all religions by the state. With the 42nd Amendment of the Constitution of India enacted in 1976. It asserted that India is a secular nation. However, neither India's constitution or its laws define the relationship between religion and yep. state. Whereas yes. Pakistan is a Muslim state. India has around an 80% Hindu population, while Islam is a predominant religion in Pakistan. So much so that it has the second largest Muslim population in the world. Huh? Pakistan okay. alone, which is five times smaller than India, has 300 <coughs> dialects and languages. Now, this count in India is a lot more than 1,500. But okay. for the official languages, the Constitution of India designates the official language of the government of India as Hindi, Hindi. as well as okay. English, <laughs> and there is no national language. in india, india yes. pakistan's national Maya, language dude. is urdu which <laughs> along with english is also the official language urdu to pakistan 2015 the Maya, government Maya. in pakistan announced plans to actually make urdu the sole official language <laughs> Maya, and get rid of english as the second official language When it comes to the dollars, the money dollars of India and Pakistan, Pakistan <laughs> uses the Pakistani rupee and India uses the Indian, Indian rupee. The GDP at India sits at 9.489 trillion US dollars and the GDP of Pakistan is at 1.060 trillion US dollars. And this is based on the purchasing power parity. Yeah. When it comes to food, now, India is a big place, yeah. of course, right? <laughs> It used to be even bigger, consisting of areas that are now Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar, which was formerly known as Burma. So the whole idea of Indian food is not necessarily 100% accurate. 
Although the term Pakistani cuisine can also be pretty Indeed. vague, considering that Pakistan didn't exist until 1947, but uh, Pakistani cuisine can be considered, let's say, a subset of Indian cuisine. Yes. But like when you look at the subsets, it's pretty diverse with all the different spices and the We don't see too much differences in terms of the food in India and Pakistan. But let's just take, for yeah. example, you know, the kind of food that you would find yeah, cooking meat. in a South no. Indian home. You know, the dal, the resam, the sambar, I mean, etc. It's food the food 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 Pakistan's <laughs> kebabs, wow. the naans and curries <laughs> and and that, that, that are served in an Indian, Indian restaurant. Mm. But that's enough food talk for me. I'm kind of getting hungry. I'm probably going to chow down after this episode. But uh, let's look at the though. military of these two countries. <laughs> so currently, Pakistan's military is ranked 13th in the world. Pakistan's yeah, armed yeah, forces yeah. are made up by fourth, three fourth, different fourth, branches. Fourth. We have the Pakistan <laughs> Army, <laughs> Pakistan Air Force, and the Pakistan Navy. Now, the available manpower in Pakistan sits at 95 million people, and their okay. total military personnel sits at 1,135,000. That includes active personnel, which is 620,000, and reserve personnel, which is 515,000 people. And the defense budget uh, in Pakistan, Pakistan increased to $8.7 billion dollars this year. Now, they're the sixth largest Whoa. in the world in terms of active military personnel and the largest among Muslim countries. And this next one is huge. It's reported that <laughs> Pakistan is the only Muslim <laughs> <dirty> country <laughs> that has <laughs> nuclear weapons. Their military also has a special service group, which is known as the SSG. It's the primary special operations force of the Pakistan army. Because the SSG go through Whoa. a huge range of just <laughs> training, <laughs> in 2015, they were actually listed Dude. as the best special forces group in the entire world. Whoa. Now looking at the military of India. India. So India has the third largest NDA. military in terms of active NDA. frontline personnel. But when we take a look NDA. at the total NDA. military power, NDA. they are NDA. fourth on the global <laughs> scale. The defense budget is way up to $53.5 billion. And actually, the Indian Ministry Modi. of Defense says India will need $233 <laughs> bro, billion dollars to meet its military budget in 11 years. Now, there's something pretty cool I want to throw in here. In late 2016, India actually completed its nuclear triad by adding a strategic nuclear submarine, the INS Arnhan, into its Indigo. military. India has nuclear become submarine. one of the only countries to do so. And if you're unsure of what a nuclear triad is, well, pretty much it's the ability to launch nuclear warheads from land and from the sky as well as from the sea as well. Okay. When we look at the film industry, Lollywood <laughs> is the oldest film industry of Pakistan cinema based in Lahore. But up until 2007, though, Lahore was the center of Pakistan yes. cinema, producing films in both Punjabi and Urdu. However, since 2007, <laughs> Karachi has overtaken Lahore in film productions. And for some of you, this may be the first time you're hearing the word Lollywood. So where did that name actually come from anyways? Well, it was coined back in 1989 by a gossip columnist named Salim Nasser. And he wrote for a glamour magazine that was published okay. in Karachi. Now, Bollywood, of course, in one India one is only a part of the larger Indian cinema, <laughs> also known as Indiewood. In 2016, Bollywood earned $2.4 billion, <laughs> and they make up about 43% of the overall <laughs> revenue coming from <laughs> India's entire <laughs> film industry. So, India and Pakistan have shared and continue to share a very extremely turbulent historical relationship. The Indian subcontinent used to be ruled by the British Empire for almost 200 years. Whoa. Some of you may know this, but when World War II ended, the British were in no position to continue British their hold on the Indian subcontinent. And the British partitioned the Indian subcontinent into two separate nations, India and Pakistan. On August Congress. 14th, Pakistan became an independent country. However, there was really no correct way of <laughs> <how to laughs> <actually laughs> <divide laughs> <the land. laughs> So there was a mix of <laughs> Hindus <laughs> and Muslims living in the land for <laughs> generations. <laughs> and this partition resulted in the loss of life on both sides. Yep. Almost 20 million people were displaced from their homes as well. Yes. It's been 70 years and these two countries continue to overcome various hurdles and now are recognized on the global scale in many different areas. 
This episode of FTD Facts is brought to you by Grammarly.com. Grammarly is one of the leading software in the world for improving... So, the video is sponsored by Grammarly. This is my video. So, the video is not the same video. The video is not the same. The facts are 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 the same. Why are you talking about the facts? Okay, your preference is clear. Bro, I am fully a man. A boy. ठीक है ठीक है तो कमेंट्स में आप बताना चाहेंगे अगर बताना प्लीज लड़ना मत ऐसे बता दोगे बताना तो प्लीज 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 तो ओवरऑल वीडियो अच्छी थी इसी के साथ वीडियो खत्म करते हैं लाइक कर देंगे शेयर कर देंगे सब्सक्राइब कर देंगे लवी गाइस पीस